Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida for the ribbon cutting ceremony of BP Pulse's first EV charging hub. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, before we get into this video, there's one thing I wanted to kind of emphasize that I feel like I didn't while I was at the site in Jacksonville. And that is, I feel like BP and other C store operators and travel center operators have a really unique position where they could dominate the charging game. Um, you know, people like Let's Try America, where they have to kind of like rent from people and put in chargers and then like they're not even profitable um whereas bp they already own all these properties they just acquired travel centers of america all they need to do is put in the charging and then get the power and i did talk to like some of like the the ceos there and a couple other people and like the biggest issue like everyone else like everyone has is getting the power there but they've got the places you know, Electrify America has to find the places. Other uh, charge point operators that aren't um, convenience store based or travel center based, they have to find the property. These places have them, they just gotta put them in. So if they see that there's a need, they can put in chargers, get the power uh, from the utility and boom, uh, there's a station open. So that's kind of that's why I'm like really excited about BP and all these other um, convenience store operators that are putting in charging like circle k too that's another one that comes to mind that's kind of in the virginia north carolina area because you know i i think in one two years if they keep building out like this it's going to be a whole different landscape and i feel like people are going to be way more comfortable uh, buying an electric car knowing that they're gonna they're gonna be able to charge i mean drive down 95 and tell me how many bp and travel centers and travel center of america's you see it's a bunch it's a lot and if they put charging there, you know. So anyways, I just wanted to mention that before we get into the main video. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's a really fun one. It's a cool one, cool site. Got to meet lots of cool people. Let's get into it. So I was invited to the event. It was supposed to be on Wednesday. I couldn't make it. And then um, it snowed in the south. <laughs> and they moved it. And uh, it was a day I could actually make work. And so I, I came on down for this event. Uh, and it was pretty cool. It's always cool to see the start of... Um, not necessarily a new charge point operator, but kind of a, um, a new build out that they're doing here with the Travel Centers of America. And um, Travel Centers of America is kind of plentiful throughout the country. So, uh, you know, BP acquired them, uh, I believe they said 18 months ago. And so now they have all these sites that they can just drop in chargers. Um, which is gonna be awesome. I, I'm not exactly sure how many they're planning to get in the first year, um, but they're gonna get a good, a good number and I think it's gonna help uh, with this increasing of EV charging infrastructure here in the United States. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, everybody, I'm just gonna take you to, over to the units, we'll check them out. And then um, I have already plugged in, um, they were playing music and stuff, so I just plugged in because I do have to you know, go home eventually. Uh, but yeah, let's go over and check those out. Here we are everybody in Jacksonville, Florida, and we have one of the first BP POS stations. They're using the Albitronic HYC 400 chargers, uh, which we've seen at IANA and uh, some other places, and they're awesome. They're great units, and I've enjoyed using them so far. Um, here at this event, they did a little ribbon cutting ceremony. I'll put some of that footage in. Um, it was pretty windy and birds were kind of like, like yelling the whole time, so I don't know how good the audio will be. Uh, but anyways, afterwards, we were able to plug in. Everything worked. I actually used the Pater terminal, and I used my um, Apple Pay to activate, and it worked perfectly fine. All right, here they are, the Opitronic HYC 400s. We saw these, like I said, um, at the IANA sites. I really enjoy them. They're easy to use. They're easy to interface with. Um, they are using Pater. It was a $35 hold. I did my Apple card. I will note that um, the actual activation process was much faster on the BP Pulse chargers than it was for the IANA chargers. I'm not sure why that was. Um, they're the same units, so maybe it's a back-end thing, or I'm not exactly sure, but these were notably faster, and it was a very nice experience. Here, we can go in active sessions. You can see, there I am, 68%, 59 kilowatts. My battery was pretty cold. There it is, and I love that you have the charging details, and you get a little curve. You can see it, it spiked up and then came down here. 
get all this awesome data over here, plugged in a 45%, which is pretty high state of charge, can stop it if I'd like to. Um, this one doesn't have as many options uh, to look at, but that's fine. Here are instructions right now, they have app start. Uh, you can't check anything else out. Oh, you can click down, there you go, credit card, tap to charge and pricing details. Let's click on that, select. Go into pricing details and I don't see anything. It's a blank screen, so okay, that's interesting. Maybe they haven't gotten that far, but there is that. And then um, once you um, complete, you can actually get a receipt, which I'm gonna do this time. I didn't do the IANA, um, but it's the exact same system that they have at IANA with the pater, and you can get the receipt. So if you go to IANA or go to BP Pulse, you can do that, which is nice. I do wanna mention one thing I noticed, and I, I talked to the representative from Alpitronic. So these are different cables than we're at the IANA site. So these are 400 amp, uh, 1000 volt cables, and they boost up to 600 amps. You couldn't remember off the top of his head how long the boost was, um, but they do in fact boost. Uh, these are not the, the oil-cooled cables that are being used for the IANA chargers, um, and they actually are a little bit heavier and a, more, a little bit more difficult to navigate, uh, but with this cable management system, it's still not, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to use, but I would say notably heavier uh, than the ones at the IANA sites. Hey everyone, I just wanna add one more thing here about the cable. So like I said, the IANA sites have the 600 amp, 1000 volt cables, and that will run 600 amps, can, amps continuously and here at this BP Pulse site with the Travel Centers of America they have 400 amp cables and um, I talked to the Alpitronic representative uh, like I said and they can be boosted to 600. I then reached out to Brandon Flash who also works for Alpitronic just to ask how long um, you could expect to see the boost profile and he said that basically there is no car on the market right now that will see any kind of D-rate uh, with the boost profile, which I thought was pretty interesting. So the boost must be for a pretty long time uh, and that's awesome. So if you have a car that like mine, the Equinox that pulls 500 amps for a long time, or maybe even a Rivian, they pull 500 amps for even longer uh, than the Equinox, um, you're gonna get full speeds regardless. So I thought that was really interesting and I wanted to add that into the video. All right, so the charge is all finished. There it is. It wasn't the greatest charge because my battery was cold, but that's fine. 79%, it actually stopped at 80, which is interesting. Uh, you can go to charging detail if you want and get all that stuff. Uh, but if you want receipt, you go here to the pater, you click receipt, you click receipt, there it is. Okay, present card for receipt, no charge. So I gotta tap my phone. So then it was only 15 bucks, it gives you a QR code, you scan that. Once you scan the QR code, it opens up a, a web browser prompt. You put in your email and then it emails your receipt and I'll show you all that now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and you can do that also at the IANA site, which I forgot to try, but that's pretty cool. Today marks a significant milestone in our journey to bring new forms of energy to our customers as we support their paving mobility needs while leveraging the best of and TA. TA has been a part of the BP family for just over 18 months now. One of the most attractive things about the BA locations is our on-highway on locations. We have nearly 320 travel centers across the country, 44 states, under the TA, Petro, and TA Express brand names. These travel center locations are essential refueling spots for motorists and professional drivers. Our sites are predominantly located just off the major highway interstate highways, which strategically positions us to help Quite simply, connecting to the grid removes the point source of pollutants and allows this reduction to continue as the transition to clean energy generation continues. Plus, electric vehicles are just much more efficient uh, than combustion engines. And for those who may not have kept up with the growth of EVs, let me provide this spoiler alert. It's very strong. In 2024, uh, the state of Florida saw around a 70% growth in overall EV ownership, making Florida the second largest in the nation of overall EV ownership. At the end of the day, consumers are choosing EVs because they are more efficient environmentally, 
and economically. And that trend is going to continue as long as there is adequate charging facilities uh, available. And truly, we're just at the beginning of this growth curve. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory estimates the need for chargers uh, to support 30 to 40 million EVs by 2030. And projects like this one here today are part of that solution to meeting this need. Building a fast charging network along the nation's interstate corridors, and in this case, for the fast growing community of St. John's County. Well, thank, thanks, Taylor, and uh, Tim for, uh, for that background. So I'm Sudhir Sharma, the CEO of EV, uh, Pulse's EV charging business. I want to welcome you all here. This is a pretty big milestone for us, uh, getting our first uh, travel centers of America, EV Pulse, uh, EV charging collaboration going. Uh, you'll see a number of these popping up across the United States in the, over the course of uh, this next year and the coming years. We have um, over 300 uh, Travel Centers of America sites uh, across the U.S. and eventually, uh, I'm sure, we'll have you be charging across all of them. So we're very excited about that. Um, I don't know if you guys know much about BP Pulse, but uh, I'll tell you, BP Pulse is the EV charging brand. Uh, of BP, as uh, as uh, Taylor was mentioning, we have an operator of 40,000, close to 40,000 EV charging stores across uh, the world, uh, with an ambition to head towards uh, 100,000 globally by 2030. We've got big ambitions, um, and we are uh, scaling rapidly in the U.S. It's been a transformative year for us in the U.S. over the last 12 months, uh, bringing these projects. To fruition is a labor of love uh, from uh, many individuals inside and outside BP, from part with partners like JEA, uh, partners like uh, EV Connect. We have our hardware partner here, uh, Mike Duplin from Electronic, and uh, many others. So we thank all of you for uh, for uh, all the help that uh, you guys have given us and uh, in in, um, in building this out. Uh, as BP Pulse looks to grow, we are, uh, as I mentioned to some of you, we are uh, looking to scale across the U.S. We are focused in uh, 40 major cities. Uh, we will continue to collaborate, not just with the Travel Centers of America uh, BP brand, but also uh, various other brands with um, uh, Thornton's, uh, Amoco, um, and uh, the BP brand itself. We have over 7,000 BP uh, owned or BP partner stations across the U.S. So we uh, we really uh, look forward to scaling across that, but also with partners outside of BP. We've got collaborations now with Simon Malls, uh, and you'll see uh, BP charging stations doing in Simon Malls, and then we're also uh, collaborating with Laz Parking. Laz is the largest parking operator in the United States, so you'll see some of that uh, that happen. We're particularly excited about this side, as uh, Taylor said, because it's along this wonderful uh, highway corridor. So we're expecting lots of uh, lots of traffic uh, to come here um, as uh, EV drivers traverse this uh, highway up and down. It's interesting. I don't know if you can hear these birds, but they're pretty pretty active. Pretty active. Um, and so uh, with this, I'm I'm really uh, thrilled to be unveiling this first site. This is going to be our standard structure that we're going to have as we roll out more uh, sites with TA. So we're going to have at least 12 charging stalls. In some cases, we may have a few more, depending on the size and, and scale of the site. Um, but, uh, but this is what you can expect to see and get a great experience, backed by uh, the convenience facilities. As you can see, the subway, the, the Popeyes, and, and various other facilities that we have back there. Um, Florida is really important to us, so I want to thank um, uh, the representative from uh, Ray Scott's office, I mean, Florida's uh, really, really, um, it's a great EV market, it's a growing EV market, and we are uh, glad to be here, and we're glad to be in Jacksonville, and this being our first site, and uh, we have many more coming uh, to Jacksonville as well. You'll see uh, quite a few uh, popping up again over the next 12 to 18 months uh, across the city, so we're very excited about that. Um, thank you again for being here to celebrate with us. I'll stop talking now and bore you with my uh, speech. And uh, we'll cut the ribbon now.
so that's it for today. Thanks for joining me here with the BP Paws launch and, and ribbing cutting. Uh, seems like it's going to be a good thing. They're going to have no less than 12 charging ports at every site. They're going to be on um, you know major travel corridors near airports. So it's definitely um, needed and hopefully help with um, the prolifer proliferation of EVs and kind of giving more options for EV charging infrastructure. So thanks again. If you haven't already, please remember to give a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you all next time.